These are the smoke uh, glow effects in the Eridar spells, right? If you've seen those animations, uh, let's see if I can bring it up. Um, let's see, you're gonna open Eridar Warlock, right? So this guy's animations, you know, he does his like spell and he does this awesome fire stuff, or like the spell slam fire stuff. And I've now I've seen this with Archimonde, he does that too. You get like smoke coming up. So these are the smoke, and we're gonna go ahead and import that smoke. We're gonna have Illidan have cool smoke effects on Illidan, you know, might as well. And uh, here we go. Last tab is visibility. This is what parts of the model are visible when. A lot of visibility information is auto-calculated by this program. So what you're just picking is the association between things that already existed. And in other words, that means here are Illidan's geosets. Now, they're set by default to be always visible, and here they would default to what they were previously, and they were previously always visible. We can go in here and say we want them to be visible when the Eridar Warlock's first geoset was visible. Now, as we said before, the first geoset of the Eridar Warlock is not being imported to this model, but we can import through the use of this, this tab right here, Geoset 1's visibility. Another feature here with the visibility, as you can see, the Eridar Warlock's components are all displayed, all the ones that we picked off the list, and presently it displays all textures, it's sort of an accidental thing that you see all the textures of everything, but data changed on things that won't be imported, doesn't really matter. So you look down here, you have the, the foot uh, left, foot right, the weapon of the Eridar Warlock, it's, you know, it's hand uh, attachment points and all the rest of them, and the smoke effects that we chose to import, and they are already operating on the Eridar Warlock's visibility information that's automatically going to be imported unless I change it. So they're all going to be used, and they favor components original visibility when combining, which uh, in this case, nothing's really overlapping information, so that probably won't change anything, but it means they will stay visible when they were visible. Everything here should work. In other words, these smoke effects will appear only in the spell animation, as they did before, regardless of where the spell animation ends up in the time track when you're done. Uh, the computer will remember that with this program and handle it. All right, so we're going to come down here and click Finish. I'm going to accept this import. Now, the import doesn't immediately display in the program. It's sort of a little visibility error I've never quite fixed, but you can come in this little drop down. You can see here the uh, third geoset is there. It thinks it's visible, it's really not. You can double toggle editable, editable, and that'll fix the display error. So now you can see we've got the Hero Glow imported onto this Illidan model, and we've got, if you show pivot points, we've got a lot of pivot points now, a lot of these information of these things. You know, you've got the attachment points, you can see here the Hero Glow's bone. The, uh, the feet, the geoset, uh, the bones the feet are attached to, the the sound emitters when the Eridar makes its noise, and the uh, uh, a bunch of these other ones, you know, the, the bones, the actual helpers. So the things called bone underscore are, are helpers in, in the model. It's something weird about how Blizzard made it all, but it's just kind of how it goes. Um, yeah. So as you can see, you know, these, these points of motion, they look, they look really fancy, right? That looks... That looks great. Let's save Illidan here as another copy. I always want to back stuff up. I'd, I'd give the new one a new name after an import, just for good measure. We're going to call this Illidan with Eridar motion, you know, because it's pretty awesome. Illidan's got Eridar motion in him, right? So we're going to open that over here. Illidan with Eridar motion. Boom. Illidan's got Hero Glow now, so he's got Eridar motion, right? You see all these animations? These are Eridar animations. And you click Stand 2, and nothing happens, right? Because... As we talked about with the matrices, Illidan's points of motion are all attached, or are, are all, uh, are all of his vertices, right? Are all attached to the single point of motion right here. The uh, you don't see it in this, but object 01, it's in here, I think. Object 01, right? This is the only one that pre-existed, and they're still all attached to object 01. They're they're not successfully attached to anything else. <coughs> so at this point, we're going to have to do some of the uh, modeling dirty work. We're going to have to associate each of the points of Illidan with these points of motion. In order to do that, all right, you've, you can see we've got Illidan here, you've got this model looking pretty spiffy. We are going to start editing the model. Now to edit the model we got these tools over here. and We've got the fancy tool that I just added today that you can right click a part of Illidan and, and uh, so you've selected these vertices and you reassign the matrix of these vertices. Now this is similar to the tab in the import menu as you can see you can display the parents if you want them. But um, this tab is improved in that it applies it to all selected vertices. And there's a little red X up here on accident. Maybe that'll be gone when I compile the program for the internet but you know there's life. 
So you could come in here and you could say, well, let's go bonehead, right? This stuff's Illidan's head. We gotta teach this program where how everything works, you know, and this is Illidan's head. So we use bone. Bonehead appears on the list, the geo head. And you can click accept. And suddenly now, all of Illidan's head is set to animate with Illidan's head. If we save Illidan with Eridar motion, and we come back here, and we reload it, right? If you go into the animation controller and you do stand, you know, Illidan's head is moving like an Eridar now, right? We, we've associated his head with the Eridar body, which is what we wanted, you know, in his, in his attack. And you can see here the head is pretty, pretty bugged up, right? It's, it's, uh, it's attached, but what's happened is the, uh, the geo head that we attached it to is way down here, right, behind his back. And so when that, when that rotates, right, this is rotating around that point, so it's like flying down here because it thinks that the center of it is, is down here. So in order to fix that, right, you can take the head ref here, and you can move it up to Illidan's head. Alternatively, you could scale all of Illidan down until he, he better fit the bones. Let's go ahead and do that instead. So we're going to grab head. I just control z it so it's back where it was behind his back. And we're going to uh, turn off pivot points for a second and make the hero glow uneditable so we're just editing Illidan. We're going to select all of Illidan and then we're come back to showing pivot points. Now you can see where these points of motion are and I can edit Illidan without the points of motion being selected. So we're going to scale Illidan down a little bit using this scale tool here and then you, you right click to apply the action. Right, So I'm right clicking dragging drag right click to make Illidan change scale and you can see he changes scale dynamically the closer your mouse gets to him uh, I found to be an improvement over uh, the vertex modifier made by Winkerwinkle that was one of my goals in making this program is make something new and improved so you want to move this right here straight onto where you see geo foot you know foot left foot right you want him to be in about the same point you know I mean it's, it's hard to get everything perfect but you want it pretty close. I see the head, right? Bone bone head and head ref are a little bit up there. So we can make it a little, a little bit bigger. I'm moving back up to have his head on top of the head. You can see his feet are actually going through the ground a little bit. So we'll move that up. All right. So Illidan's head should still be attached to the uh, Geo head. But a lot of the rest of them is not moving yet. So let's come down here. We got the Geo Foot L. We're going to select all of this mesh. The matrix assignment will not affect any of these pivot points, right? They're being selected, changes nothing. So it's okay to have them there. I programmed it only to affect points in a geo set. Although it will select all points in all geo sets that you've got and, and modify them. So we want to go to Geo Foot L. So that's going to be on this list somewhere. Uh, geo foot L right there. So we're gonna plunk that on the left foot and we're gonna accept that. We're gonna come over here to the right foot and we're gonna go to all of it and do the very same thing. Geo foot right and we're gonna put that on the list. We're gonna accept that. That will make Illidan's feet now move with the Eridar's feet. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing some pretty complicated geometry on this Illidan. So I'm going to be kind of careful when I do this. We're just going to get all of the bottom of this pant leg. So, you know, if you're really fancy, you could... You, I'm, I'm selecting large groups at a time here. You, you could do more minute detail, but I'm not uh, not doing the minute detail stuff right now. It's just an example of how the program works. Oh, actually, we, do, we want to deselect these points. Right? So we just got this one big old mass of points. So we're going to put all these points... You know, be... Um, they're, they're the right foot, but they're more like the right shin. You know, this is like his shin right here. So we're going to put this on the uh, shin. It's looking pretty good. And come over here to the other side. Select all the points. Oh, I'm on deselect, right? you got to be on select. Now, something to note. I may have done this before without even thinking about it. As you're selecting, I programmed this uh, as an improvement over Winkle Wrinkle again. You see I've got select highlighted here. Well, I can highlight add by holding down the shift key. So here I'm clicking I'm clicking shift, and it's, it's highlighting add. So... You can do that, and you can shift add these points while still being on the select key. So later, if you want to deselect, you just click again. You know, I can click here, boom, they're all deselected. I control Z and reselect. Working pretty well. All right, so we're gonna reassign matrix here. This is the uh, left the shin, right shin L. Accept that. Onto there. Uh, this stuff. Let's see these. You should move on up leg two is right about.